I'm going to show you how you can create other channels as distinct from your main YouTube channel. And you may want to do that because you may want to put other kind of information in these other channels. The first thing you're going to do is go, you can approach it from so many different ways, but I'm going to um, click on my avatar, the letter that you see at the top of your channel after you log in. And I'm coming up here to YouTube Studio. In YouTube Studio, you can scroll down here to settings. And under settings, you want to choose channel, advanced setting. And scroll down to the bottom here and go to manage YouTube account. When manage YouTube account comes up, the first thing you mean you should do is you want to view your account settings and scroll down to see what kind of an account you have. Now, if this was a business account or a brand account, one an account whereby you can change and easily change the name of your brand or your business, it wouldn't have asked this question. So you know it's not, it's still my personal account. So in, I'm going to kind of come back then to say account and look at add or manage channel. I'm clicking, click on add and here you can now create channel. Now you have one main channel, which is your personal channel. And you want to create some other channels where you can do other business in. So you click on create channel and here you can give this channel the name of a business. Let's say this channel is, what would I give this channel name now? It's the name, Granny Excursion. <laughs> All right. Granny's Excursions. Is that a good name? attractive and then it says the first thing you read you can use your brand name or another name good channel name represents you and etc etc and you can say here i understand i'm creating a new google account with its own settings so of course and you can now say create when you create that channel you want to give a verification phone number for them to be sure it's a legitimate name, business, etc. And then you can say, should we send you codes? I think I need a text message. So I'm going to say continue there. And the text message is coming in on my phone with a verification code. So let me log in. And the verification code I got here is debit one. We continue. And here now is this new channel. This new channel has its own features, own everything, and I can assign people to manage this business channel. And when I assign people to manage this channel, I don't have to give them anything about me. So let us add some people to manage this channel now then. So I'm going to calm down and there are more than one ways to access this. I guess the easiest way would be to come here again and go to YouTube Studios. Or you could go to customize. You're looking for settings on this left hand side. Get information. I click off that and I'm coming here on the, the settings on the left side here. So under settings, now clicking on permissions. Here now I'm going to move my channel, move permissions to YouTube students. Move permissions. When I move permissions, I can invite people to do different roles. 
I'm going to invite someone to be a co-manager or an editor or a viewer and all of these descriptions, what they're able to do is listed there. So let me invite me at, um, they have to have a Gmail account too. Here I'm sending and that person, I want that person to be the manager. It's done. I've invited this person to be the manager of one of my accounts and I'm going to say save. Now this person is going to get a letter, a verification. To continue your session, complete brief ver a brief verification. This extra step helps us to keep your account safe by making sure it's really you. So I'm going to say proceed and they're going to give me all that. In the meantime, it's go to Google and check my email. Here is the invitation that was sent to me. I accepted the invitation and then it gives you this all set channel granny's excursion, your role manager. So I could say go to channel and it will take me right to the channel. And I'm all ready to do my managerial responsibilities. I was lo I logged in with my own credentials. So that is one of the advantages of having a business or a brand account. You can change a name whenever you want to a different name and you can assign people to manage this account without having to give them access to your own personal Gmail account. And you can have multiple people managing the same account, doing different roles, none except for a few, maybe the manager and the owner, seeing who has other responsibilities. So you keep it pretty secure there. I log in as myself, which this is one of my channels, which is not. You will see that I have responsibility down here to manage Granny's excursions. And as a manager, I could invite somebody else, any one of these roles. This is how you can create sub channels of your main channel and assign others to manage it. Thank you for watching.